Dummy with the miracle save with the Trekkie kill. Yeah, that was a big, big play by Dummy. I mean, if that didn't happen, um, that push was going to come in right on him. But now the advantage, they already took middle. They're pushing in really hard. Uh, falling apart right now for HRG. They look so good, but Wonderwall and Oplad able to get two or three. Both scouts and a demo down. Uh, they're going to be pushing on the last here. They do not have Uber, but they're just pressuring it. Uh, Trekkie definitely doesn't have it as well. A lot of pressure going on the pocket there. Try is going to go down. Trekkie as well. There goes the Medic, and Tech Dude's going to join him. Wow, uh, just a, a crashing wave of blue all the way back from last to their last. Uh, it's a heartbreak round for HRG. They had that round in the bag, and they're going to lose it. So it's 1-0 in favor of the experiment. Uh, Sigma, what would you see there as, uh, other than that drop, just uh, once that momentum got in the hands of experiment, they just ran it all the way back. Yeah, HRG kind of like threw that round away after the drop because they kept bleeding players. Like they lost so many people in the flank defending too. It's like, what the heck are you going to get out of it? At most, they're going to pop. And then <laughs> if you're three down, even with Uber, you're still going to lose last, so... I don't yeah. know. Well, we're at a but fresh here we go again, here. Dummy yeah. down early. Dummy's gonna go down early. Oplad as well as Basic, so no medic save for Basic this time. Five still up for the red side. Uh, Tech Dude's gonna go down. Only two soldiers remain. Wow! A turnaround by Wonderwall and Seagull. Are they gonna get it? Wow! A Shoddy versus the Scout. Pistol versus Shoddy. Seagull still has a lot of health. He's gonna try to defend his health pack now. What a crazy mid fight. All of a sudden, it looked like Red definitely had it. Seagull is still alive, though he's not capping middle. I don't see where that Scout ran off to, guys. I don't know where he went, but uh, See, wow. Back uh, to their garage. Went out, yeah, he so did. he's gonna give Siegel middle. Uh, what a crazy mid fight, Sigma. Both it looked like uh, HRG had it in the bag, but Sigma and Wonderwall just found about five or six with that splash and did three or four kills and turned it all the way around on him. Yeah, I was really impressed with that. I thought for sure Experiment had lost that, but then HRG just got caught on their side, the soldiers raining down on them, and there you have it. Ex uh, Experiment. Actually, with that early med death, they now have a pretty big Uber advantage, so they might just shove this into Yard right when they get it. We'll see. It's so hard to get through these doors, this choke, without having to pop Uber, and it looks like HRG is going to make them pop as soon as possible through the doors here. A lot of spam going in with that new uh, little doorway there on the left. I guess it's not that new anymore, but the Medic is going to make it out, so uh, they're going to push in. So HRG does a pretty good job of forcing the pop out in Yard and getting away pretty well. Trekkie at 98%. He's going to get flanked right now. He's going to be able to get that Uber just in time. Clutch Uber there by Red, and they're going to start cleaning up Experiment here. Almost like a, a reverse of what happened last round here. It looks like uh, the noose is going to tighten around Blue. The Experiment, wow, it's a full wipe. Six up and six down, guys. Uh, Wow, what a what a turnaround there, Sigma for the uh, for the red team, just pulling it right yeah. back on them. And now if HRG manages not to trip over their own shoelaces, they have this round because there's no way that Experiment's gonna have enough spawns to defend too. They only have their scouts and their roamer with no buffs. Uh, HRG can just like run straight into this, take it no problem, and then they have a pretty big Uber advantage for last. One concern though, Wonderwall going through drop down, and it looks like the combo is gonna get there in time to make a play. So maybe not quite as fast moving on HRG as they could have been. I'm watching Wonderwall come behind them here because they have no idea that he's there. So, oh, he gets seen by a soldier. That's gonna be that. It's a great roaming soldier play, DJC, probably one of your favorites at flank. And uh, they're able to capture two without uh, having to pop that Uber. They're gonna be able to use it for last here. They go in right now and they're gonna have a chance to push without Uber, Idoc. Yeah, and they're bringing up the heavy right now, so they're actually going to lay their push a little, it looks like. Bring in the heavy in the rear, pop the Uber, run back to him, give him the 450, and just rain down hell from way back. But uh, right. experiment with their own heavy on defense here, forcing the early pop. Yeah, they're it's gonna actually push. like an awful Uber from HRG. Look how much damage the pocket took for those couple seconds he was on flash, trying to jump up to the pipe. So experiment gets a uh, hold gift to them off of bad execution from HRG. Although, yeah, that doesn't put with them a nice over the counter water pick. Yet. Yeah, with the dummy dying there, and they still have their heavy up. They can just re-push here with the two down if they're quick enough. Yeah, it's true. And look at the health on the soldiers. They have to know that the soldiers are lit. Seagull's going back to spawn. We've got heavy shooting at each other from across the map. What's... is HRG gonna move? It doesn't look like they're gonna do it. Looks like they just want to sit on the Uber and try to push again. It feels right. like with the heavy play, they're just going to wait and try to get an actually good uber off this time and hopefully do the actual heavy play. Like, you just go in with your combo, you get the ubers popped, and then the heavy walks out of one of the doors, comes in late, he has 450 health, he gets the last, like, 10% of the uber, and it does a ton of damage. Seems like that's what they're going to set up for here. They're all... Yeah. 
They're on the middle pipe here, the kind of classic defense. Looks like Red's finally going to move in, but the timing, like you said, Sigma, just a little bit late because they had a, a couple seconds where they could have gotten in there without that Uber, but the defensive Uber's going to go right on that heavy, and he's just going to sit there with Natasha bringing the pain. Uh, a lot of stickies going in the back there. Dummy's going to catch a couple out, but no, he's actually going to go down before he can get those stickies. Looked like he had a good positioning there. Uh, looking at the score, Trekkie did end up going down uh, three on three. I t made a mistake there. I said Natasha. Was, in fact, Sasha, so I picked the wrong Russian lady. Uh, three on three, but looks like Blue's getting a little aggressive going to try to retake second. I don't know if any back caps are going to go on it. Don't see anything, so we do have a spy, guys. Omar is running spy. Kind of the heavy counter from back in the day. He's going to actually uncloak behind the medicure. I no, no. Are you going to see the first back oh. Yay! Yeah, Basic's going to go down. The guy turns around. The heavy's like, no, you can't kill my medic. Oh, man. He's going to kill him, but not before the damage is done now. Uh, Experiment is able to recap for oh. second, guys, but a big spy play. And they just dropped uh, Trekkie getting a little too aggressive while there was still four fragging classes up for Experiment. But, oh, uh, wow, yeah, they did. And actually, whoa, huge cleanup. I thought Experiment was just going to get the medic and then let that be that. But all four frag all their they only lost one of them. So three of them still up pushing to mid. They've got Oplade and their medic coming from spawn. I don't think they can take mid off this because of the forward spawns, but really nice play there to save their two and secure yard pretty much. And I'm actually, sorry, I... I didn't see how the medic died there. Ida, did you see that? Uh, Trekkie looked like he was in fine position, and then all of a sudden, was it a pipe that killed him? I'm trying to look back and kill the frag log. Yeah, it was a pipe. Uh, Wonderwall like, put, like, hit him with rockets from Z to get him low. I'm not sure where oh, okay. Dummy was, but could have been like a roller. It could have been a direct from Garage. Would have been, have to have been where he was. Looking at the stream real quick, it looks like we're getting some choppiness going, so pretty sure that's on our, 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 our streamer's end, as I've watched him stream pretty clearly. It's kind of stopping and freezing, so if you guys want to jump in to mumble with us, I don't have that info at the top of my head, but, uh, you know, we're, we're lag-free here in mumble, so um, hopefully that works out. I don't know what's going on there, but so apologize if you guys are uh, expecting a smoother stream. Hopefully it'll work out here in a little bit, but in the meantime, we're sitting stalemated here in the classic greenery spot. Both teams do have Uber. Um, it's really hard to push right back into middle um, from this situation, especially when the other team has Uber. Um, expect that red side HRG to be, to put the pressure on, really looking for anyone to get overextended, any pick here, but... Uh, it's tough in land situation. Guys, you really don't want to be the team that loses the guy, so could see a longer stalemate situation here. I feel like Experiment might be playing a little unconfident today. Like, they had a, a pretty small advantage. I think it was like 15% Uber advantage. But if they were confident in their play, that'd be where Siegel would just push in with the solo Uber and try to get five kills, you know? But they're just going to sit here with 15% Uber, let HRG get it. That feels pretty atypical of Seagull. I mean, he usually loves to just go balls deep, go full out aggressive, see what he can do. Yeah, he definitely likes to go deep in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know exact. I mean, like, I can't blame Experiment for not wanting to push. It's such a hard shove in there. Um, HRG down around, even though it's really early in the match. Got to think that since they do have middle, it's sort of on them to try to make something happen. But of course, it's tough with all that spam and sticky and stuff going on there. So. Maybe they'll try to move in on the flank here on that right side and catch a scout or something and then push in behind it, but um, as of right now, not a whole lot going on, so Try is finally going to make his way out, so he's made an appearance there in that right choke area, and he's going to say, nah, it's a little too scary, I'm just going to back off, that's that's enough for me. But it uh, looks like him and Rick are going to try their spam luck there, they're going to be able to see the combo, actually. Oh, force a pop there, so that spam is going to work out, advantage off there, they're going to repop there, Omar is going to go down to dummy, so that might clean up that momentary advantage there. Try is going to get a couple shots on those scouts, so the blue scout's running behind. Basic is going to go down, so the medic is down. Uh, Wonderwall's going to turn a frag on. Some fighting going on at two. The stick is out. Oh, got a swing off, but Seagull's going to go down as well. Sickness and Oplad are flanking right now upper. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to try to do. They're going to need to try to get back and defend last. Try dominating kill onto Wonderwall, so some soldier-on-soldier -soldier action. And I don't think they're going to be able to stop this, though. They're still poking around in Z, and Dummy is still holding on. They have a 50-60% uber advantage in going, so... I like this play, actually, from HRG, guys. They're just slowly taking two. They know they have a huge advantage, and they're not going to let anyone flank them. Yeah, I'm really curious as to what actually caused Basic to pop in Yard there, because it didn't look to me like there was enough stickies on him to warrant it. So maybe just, like, suddenly turning and seeing the combo and getting unnerved by it? I don't know. But now, yeah, HRG taking their advantage from it. 
Here comes the push in. They're going to be able to cap behind. Um, Try jumping up after Dummy, who's still alive up on top with a scout. Some weird positioning here. You've got to be pretty afraid if you're the experiment. Your dummy's not, or your demo's not on last with you. Dummy's going to sneak back out upper and rejoin the defense here. Now, that Uber was popped. Looking over here at the blue side, of course, they're going to have about a 40% advantage. So maybe a chance here, guys, to push back into two. But um, the way IDOC said it, yeah, I think EX is playing a little nervous. I don't really see them pushing here. They're set up for it, though. I, I don't know if they're going to do it or not. Looks like they are. Dummy's going to go in. So here come the balls that we've expected. They're, they're going to go in as Sigma is going to crash out. So um, unfortunately for him, we're going to be uh, hairless as... My, my my mouse is going to completely shut off. <laughs> my mumble key off, so sorry about that, guys. The push came in. I don't see a lot of, of, of uh, good being done there. They are going to pop the red Uber, the attacking Uber. Dummy's going to get blown apart. I don't think this Uber is going to be able to push into last, though, as, uh, no, they're going to hold out. So IDOC, a, a little shove in by EX. They got their feet wet, got some cap time, but then they pulled out right away. I like the theory of what EX is doing, they pushed Dummy straight in with the Uber, they had Seagull sort of holding in the back left corner, he was passively spamming the garage to deny anyone from running for a back cap. But at that, like, after you realize nobody's going for the back cap, you kind of have to get aggressive, because what's one demo man going to do when he's running into three combat classes who can bounce him? It's not going to work very well with the Uber. Yeah, Wonderwall has moved upper right now, trying to get some advanced spam, maybe uh, force a, uh, something to happen, but he's going to back off. He's only one man versus a whole team. Back off blue side, does have Uber, Trekkie is not that far behind at 95%. Looks like we're going to see a full-on push on the last here. No uh, different classes we do, actually, I'm sorry, we have one heavy. It is Oplad, no jokes, as, uh, wow, Tech Dude went in for a pop, I guess, and he got shut off. I was looking at the uh, red side there, so a do double domination kill there for uh, both members of uh, Experiment, so nice for them. Um, they're going to try to move in after this, question mark? Uh, they snuck Wonderwall in up top right. He's going to fight a scout in, in there. That's not a fun time to fight a soldier if you are uh, a not a mouse. He's going to get shut down. Here comes the pop on the second here. Oh, Plaid is out of last, so the heavy is gone. Um, a chance here for Red to maybe sneak a back cap. They're definitely not going to be able to cap this. this uh, Seagull is going to push up aggressively, but he's going to get just destroyed. Looks like Experiment's committing, and that Uber's going to run out in time. They're going to be able to force them out, so a brave play, DJC, pushing them off. Now will they be able to hold this here at two? A uh, back-and-forth fight on two. I think I've been seeing Seagull do a lot of in the scrims this week is that he's using his life to gain kind of map territory. Like, you would expect a roamer to do, he throws himself away just to earn. Like, he earns the corner of the point there and the door, and it lets Oplad come in through the back right, which means there's a heavy on two, completely shuts down the right side from anyone getting in, so it pretty much wins Experiment the point when Seagull dies there. Looking at something I've noticed here, and it's just a small note, but Trekkie's not healing at 80%, and that U blue Uber is ready to go, so you can't give up time on Uber on, on a land like this, and Seagull's going in, so he's heard you kind of call him a, call him a you-know-what, and he's, he's like, no, I'm a man, I'm going in, and he actually has some pretty good positioning here. And HRG is stuck in Garage, they're going to fall out, pop that Uber behind, but Seagull's going to be able to do a lot of damage. The Heavy is still out there. Oplad is not leaving the Heavy class. He wants to do the minigun damage. Seagull on mid, they're going to be able to, I think, maybe to cap this. Omar's going to run into the uh, Sasha Pain, and uh, Oplad's going to go down. Seagull's going to trade three uh, three down for both sides, so it's anyone's game here. That medic, Trekkie, is trying to dodge Wonderwall. Wonderwall's now going to turn his attention to the demo. Rico gets the debt on him. Will they be able to finish that medic off? He's throwing needles. He's the bravest medic I've ever seen. Now Basic with the needles out. Dummy's going to go down. Basic is now by himself. He's going to try to get out. What a crazy fight here. Now he's going to catch up with a scout, and he's going to be okay, but wow. All sorts of back and forth on the midpoint. It's, it's actually really, really close. Uh, this is the second round's been going on for like 15 minutes, I doc. What a crazy round. I really like the HRG repush in the middle there. They know Experiment's stuck on the heavy, so they lose a scout, lose a little crowd, uh, crate control. So what they do is they get the quick pop, and they know that Basic has been prone to popping early this game, kind of the panic uber. Mm -hmm. So they get him to pop quick, and then they just take height with both soldiers, and rain down rockets from above, and it shut down Oplad instantly, got him dead just like five seconds after the Uber expired. Now they're yeah. gonna push straight to last with three men up uh, over Experiment with an Uber. They both are going to pop on last. Nice flash work there by uh, Basic, trying to keep everybody alive. Here come the spawns just in the nick of time, but Oplad's going to walk into a mountain of sticky. He's going to go down. I think, I think is going to be able to even it up. No! Here comes Wonderwall and Seagull. It's two on two. Dummy with the spawn. Try is still alive with a double, but no! He's going to get shut down. Wow! Dummy and Wonderwall with the spawn just in the nick of time. 
Dummy's gonna try to poke his head into two. Nope. He's just gonna set up a sticky trap. Guys, I'm losing my breath here. What a crazy round. I thought it was over for sure, but just in the nick of time. Sigma, are you back with us, buddy? Yeah, I'm back in now. And I cannot believe that they defended that. I was ready to write it off as soon as I saw them coming in 6v3 with Uber, but the spawns came out with full ammo and they hit their shots on the people trying to cap the point, and that was that. So it looks like HRG's gonna try the heavy push again, but I guess around last time I crashed out, they, uh, tried this and they couldn't get it to work, so I will see how their luck is with it this time. Yeah, really Oplat is still... Oh, about the, the HRG push in the last there. The spawners got their shots off, but they still died instantly, and then it was still like a 6v3 with Uber versus uh, the three left for experiment, and they still don't, they still didn't win, and I have no clue how. And they ripped the Whoa, Crips, here and what? get a Wonderwall pick. Oh, and wow. basic goes down to a great long range sticky from Rip. Sorry, we didn't even see the crits. I was looking, trying to see the defense, but yeah, that was a great crits. Kind of caught unaware. You gotta pressure doors there, get some eyes on it. You can't let a team just walk up and crits you. Will there be some last minute heroics? Only sickness remains. No. He is gonna go. My mouse. My mouse is low -end awful. Lowend.fm for all your music needs. Okay, so uh, my mouse is gonna dodge in and out, and that's my push to talk button. So if that happens again, I apologize. I don't know if you can actually hear me when that happens or not, but my, I think I need a new G500. But uh, all right, so it's one to one. What a crazy round there! Um, as we are now evened up, and HRG with the momentum there, finally uh, running the crits there. I was thinking they should try something to to mix it up, and they certainly did just that. Looking over here in middle here, Dummy, both, uh, actually Dummy's gonna go, actually yeah, both demos are gonna go catwalk, and actually all four scouts are gonna go catwalk as well. An <laughs> air shot onto that flying soldier. Tech dude's immune to damage though, apparently. He's gonna drop Dummy three down right away for EX. Just not getting anything done at middle here. Could it be a six on zero wipe? It in fact is, wow. You just don't see that at the high level. Sigma, what happened there? Uh... I can't even say, honestly, like, they tried to kill the roaming soldier, and then they couldn't even kill the roaming soldier, and then everybody just collapsed on them, and that was that, and that's the round. I would be stunned if this push doesn't work, because look at this. There's zero a, buffs, here's the uber. You I have know, a feeling is... that you can judge granary mid-fights by how many rockets people go for on the jumping soldier, and yeah. I saw <laughs> five or six fly towards tech dude, and he One still killed them yeah. after. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you get your full buff and you jump and, and you have no crit heals before you fly, you're at two, 240, that air shot, whereas it looks sweet, you know, it's almost as important to make sure you get damage done back. It's like I said, guys, it's really rare to see a 6-0, and, and Sigma called it right, that was all the way back, so now we're at 2-1 to one in favor of HRG, so the fourth seed coming to play here in this match, I think a lot of people will be surprised to see them defeat the experiment here, but we'll have to see how the rest of this plays out. Uh, if they have a better mid-fight here. Actually, the air shot's going to connect right there onto uh, the jumping soldier, onto Tech Dude. Uh, Tech Dude, though, is going to re-jump onto Basic and just say goodnight to him. Seagull the shoddy onto him, Wonderwall onto Trekkie, so a two-on-three situation. Oh, Planet and Wonderwall, they're trying to make something happen, but no, he's going to get shut down. Only the gaming legend back, he's going to go in. He's brave, he's got try, but doesn't have the other two, so not as convincing of a mid-win for HRG, but they get it done uh, nonetheless there, so HRG, guys, they look really strong right now, able to take middle, and uh, they're going to have positioning in this round. Yeah, I was watching Seagull that mid, and he never actually got, you know, past his box or anything. It was like they're playing greenery mid defensively, and I think we've all played it enough to know how, how well that works out. Yeah, alright, so um, both teams are going to be basically even on Uber here. Not a, a tiny advantage for the blue side, but they're on the defensive. Look at Sir Snackington, by the way. Anonymous has snuck in there. Tech Dude, though, is going to go down to... Uh but they do not know that this scout is hanging out outside of their second spawn. He's going to have a chance to drop on the medic here. Let's see how he plays. He's going to drop down a little bit early, try to drop the soldier, and he's going to get uh, cornered out by dummy stickies. He's still alive, though. Trekkie is going to go down on the flank, so trying to get cute It's actually going to cost HRG quite a bit. Some pressure on there, but dummy able to get a double now, so... Uh, weird little turn of events there. I thought the red was going to get sneaky, but uh, Omar, I'm sorry, uh, Anana Mouse just timed it a little bit poorly, uh, went out and watched his team die and didn't get anything done on the flank there. Yeah, that was a really odd play because they dropped a soldier kind of trying to bait that to start with, and obviously the play there was to try to two-shot the medic. And I mean, what they should have done is just baited it back out a yard and let him attempt that, but yeah, they yeah. tried to fight 5v6, and I don't care if your scout's behind him and he gets a free meat shot, you're already one down, that's not enough to justify it. Alright, well Seagull's going in, he's got Trekkie, wow! Another kind of mistake in positioning by Trekkie, and actually the rest of his team, Try and Rick, are going to go down as well, so three heavy classes down, Demo Soldier Meta can't lose three like that. Tech Dude's going to make it four, only two scouts now, Dummy says goodbye to one, wow, just a... 
overpowering shove there by EX. We are at two to two. I've got a feeling that this is going to be a five to four, guys. Just some back and forth early on. Lowend.fm for all your music needs. Yeah, I'm going to be looking for experiment to maybe switch it up on mid here because I maybe they've won one, but I'd, they're really doing poorly on these mids. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some garage play or something, or at least something different. Uh, yeah, it looks getting... like Seagull actually is going to Garage, so my Crystal Ball is working today. Uh-oh, when, when the mad scientist of TF2's Crystal Ball is working, the world is not safe. A full Garage jump here play from Red to say right back at you, but that bomb isn't going to work quite as well. Wow, three down right away for sick uh, Sickness and Opa doing all sorts of work. Four, five, only Tech Dude remains. He's able to drop Dummy, but the Medic is still alive, so... Um, Sigma, right where you called that Garage push, not only did it work, but uh, HRG committed to bomb the, the team's left side, the other team's left side, and they just weren't there, and uh, they got caught out and lost basically their Medic and Demo right away there. Yeah, and uh, this is what, two rounds ago, HRG took that quick round, and uh, ex Experiments looking to do the same thing. HRG is going to try to set up with a Sentry and Heavy, but I, I don't know if that's going to be enough. This is a really hard last point to hold without an Uber. You know, I'm looking for the experiment to get on their horses here and push last right away. Not going to give them any chance to get Uber. Looking over here, Trekkie's only at 32. It's going to be tough. All of them filing out of one door. You don't like to see that as you have to flash everybody to make sure they don't die. Not a lot of damage being done here regardless of the invulnerability advantage. That heavy is still blinking with overbuff, just sitting there dumping damage on all of them. What a what a terrible push by the experience. Oh my god. Seriously. They're just gonna get destroyed. I can't believe they just did that. Wow. And the heavy's already on second and he's like, what's up? I'm gonna blow you away with my gun. The heavy just was allowed to sit there. Oh man, you can't all file out of one door, Sigma. That's just a recipe for disaster and it played out right there for them. Yeah, and there I was saying this is such an easy point to push when you have Uber advantage, but n not if you do it in the worst way possible, so yeah, well, they, to their credit they did keep basic up. Hopefully he continues to stay up so that they have a hold on mid, but it looks like they're going to bleed a lot of players here, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Air 2 g just keep going forward here, and Experiment really needs to... Actually, Seagull was behind them going down too, so Air 2 g going to take mid for sure, and then Experiment, it's up to them to stabilize around there too. I we'll think... see if they actually want to do something crazy and like take their Uber advantage back to mid, I don't know. They might, I mean, I don't know how many forwards, they're going to get everybody but Seagull in the forward spawn, so they're going to have five guys right here. Uh, I'm sure HRG's aware of that forward spawn, that they're going to be guys right there. I'm sure they're also aware that that, uh, uh, that basic never went down, so he's going to have Uber, but at this point, it's going to be tough to get that Uber done if they're going to have to pop early enough. Uh, it looks like they're going to pressure in there. They're going to go hard on that left side. Oplad's going to go down right away. Oh my god, they're going to blow another Uber versus no Uber push. Not a lot of damage is going down. Dummy is throwing pipes everywhere, but it's just not enough. Here comes Wonderwall with a double, uh, but Seagull's going to get one. Dummy's going to go down three on three situation. Basic's still alive. Trekkie is not. Tech Dude still being a heavy, uh, poking out of that patio door, dumping damage on everybody. Um, they don't have the resupply of the medic. Omar's going to say hello to Rockets, which is a scout's uh, nightmare right there. Not too much fun for them. It's going to go down. So weird, weird round, IDOC. Uber just sort of being misused, but now we find uh, the, the experiment with an Uber advantage. Can they, uh, can they pull off one here and actually work a real push? Well, I'm hoping that the third time's the charm and they actually get a good over here instead of a bad one, but luckily Wonderwall made a great play, pushed straight through the fight, went into the garage of HRG and picked off Trekkie into the mid-push, but if they keep having Ubers like this, Experiment are going to have a tough time winning this third round. Uh, they got to stick with Seagull. I mean, he's he's one of the best in the game, North American history, at again, holding that Uber and just uh, doing damage. They're going to walk in there. Tech Dude's going to take one for the team there, force that entire Uber onto killing him. There's still stickies on mid. Oh, just one there, but still there as... Uh, uh, Anonymous is going to flash it. Wonderwall is going to say hello, trying to make a, a superstar play. Here comes a really, really early pop out of Trekkie. He's low, but wow, they're going to pop that so early. Blue is going to escape out of their garage. Sam Lingle is going to get chopped down, so no more Oplad for eight seconds. And they're going to just kind of give mid right back, but they guys they are going to have an uber advantage. So I guess the trick is to take middle and maybe kill the medic, but both teams, to their credit, are playing safe enough that they're not losing their medic in this situation and are able to leapfrog that uber. Yeah, now we're just stuck seesawing across mid. Uh, HRG trying to break the cycle by getting really aggressive over onto Experiment here, and they might catch them, but Basic's got the uber now, so this could be the overextension that kills them if Experiment just runs on forward, and that's what they're doing. They, I think they can catch Trekkie here. He's really low. He's low, but that Uber's popped. Trekkie got on his horse. Well, there goes Oh, oh my god! Seagulls, oh my god, he got him! He 
God, what a play by Siegel. Unbelievable. He did a skip shot uh, jump all the way into Garage, said hello. They had no idea he was coming. What a play by Siegel. I haven't seen an aggressive double skip jump like that in a long time at LAN. Jumping is easier if you guys have ever tried to play a jump map on your own server. That's just absolutely fact. So huge play, breaking up that leapfrog cycle for Siegel. Um, that's what we're looking for, that really big play that's going to open this up. So uh, a chance for uh, the experiment to take a halftime lead, 3-2. to two. What a play by Siegel, guys. After yeah, that was so ridiculous. Many, after so many bad Ubers, I guess Seagull's just like, alright, whatever, I'll do this by myself. And the nice thing about Seagull is that the entire two weeks before LAN, if you've seen him in DM, or even in matches, what he's been doing in DM is he's getting one rocket on his opponent and then instantly switches to shotgun. Starts seeing if he can get them down from like mid-range, long-range, practicing on a shotgun work for LAN. And it paid off really well there. Yeah, that was awesome. I won't harp on that too much more, but you gotta love the using your rockets to close the distance and then just having faith in your second primary to drop the medic there. Uh, we're gonna push second now. HRG's gonna lose both scouts and tech dude. Looking over here, Trekkie's gonna have Uber, uh, of course. Uh, oh, what a shot by Kai! Unbelievable Fucking air shot there, MGE style. Basic's gonna go down without that Uber, but it's not gonna matter. What an air shot by Tri, but too little too late. I hope that comes caught on stream. That that made me very happy. That was awesome, Tri, but uh, in the end it's gonna be 3-2. What an entertaining half of TF2. One of the best halves of TF2 I've seen in a long, long time, guys. Yeah, that's Lord, for sure. Dot FM for all your music needs. We might be edging closer to your 5-4 uh, prediction at this rate, because these teams are really trading it back and forth, and that last round I think was the best example of it, with like those four consecutive retakes of mid by both teams off the Uber advantage. This is the kind of greenery that I really like to see. Yeah, a lot is... of time. Oh, go ahead, dude. Yeah, the problem is, like, the big problem that I think is going to show up as land goes further on. Every Uber that Experiment gets just comes so poorly. It's either far too passive, or they pop far too early and they can't actually get any damage on anything. And it's just HRG have kind of shot themselves in the foot a few times and given those bad Ubers damage that it didn't deserve. Well, that last round provided two of the best plays I think you'll see all land. That air shot of Try was, was barely an air shot. He shot the rocket down, but it, it, that thing was like, it was, it hit him in midair. It was, it was awesome. So as much as Seagull's play made me happy, that was, uh, that was pretty good. All right, so we're starting the second half. Uh, three two in favor of the experiment, who are now the red side. So to throw me off my game here, I'm gonna see what happens here at middle. Uh, looks like Dummy is uh, is not gonna elect to go on that upper area that he did last time. Here comes that bomb by Wonderwall. He's gonna say goodbye to Rick. He's gonna get shut down, but Tech Dude's gonna drop as well. Two down on both sides. Anyone's game. Basic's gonna go down. Wow, two are gonna bleed right off. O plate and sickness gonna get shut down by shotties by Try. So impressive work by Try. I mean, a very strong land. Dummy is still alive, but he's gonna get out of there, try to put a sticky trap up and leave. Guys, they're having a lot of trouble keeping uh, keeping basic alive in middle. Yeah, and I, I think that's not even the correct focus for them. Just let them die and go aggressive on the other team. Like, they're wasting a lot of time trying to kill Tech Dude, and despite the fact that they went with that aggressive garage play that worked for them last time, they got stuck just defending their side of the map again, and what they really need to do is just say, forget it, let's go kill the enemy demo, let's go kill the enemy soldiers, we don't need a medic to win the fight. Because uh, if you're going to lose them anyways, what's the point in defending them? Wonderwall's making another drop-down play here, by the way. Yeah, looks like this time he might be well in time since they're taking the long route to Garage. Alright, well he's gonna sneak around here, he's gonna he's gonna jump around, he's got gunboats on, so he's gonna do all sorts of splash damage. He's gonna walk in there, the medic has already moved up to push, but he's gonna stop oh. the behind him! Wow, what a play! And now, look at the three heavy glasses, they're like, oh god, Wonderwall, is that four? That's three? Will he make it four? Sickness on a Trekkie, a disaster turnaround, what a play by the roaming soldier. Wonderwall going huge, IDOC. They finally got the cap, but wow, what a clutch play by Wonderwall, stopping the cap behind him and saving the round there. HRG had a really good idea with pushing the Uber through with their huge advantage, just leaving the cat behind. But unfortunately, they didn't cover every angle, so Wonderwall with a brilliant play, just great timing, it actually sneaks through the drop down. You figure after two or three drop down attempts, they might start watching that in the future for Wonderwall to come through there. That's the roaming soldier responsibility, too, on the other side to make sure nothing happens there. They wanted to push last and get aggressive, but Wonderwall, really smart, knows the patterns really well, and just thought, you know, there's a chance I can stop it right there, and he in fact did it. So, big plays happening left and right in the last couple rounds. Love to see that stuff, as uh, Tech Dude's going to bite it to uh, a Seagull Rocket, as uh, I didn't see where that took place, but uh, HRG's now on the on the back foot. They're actually giving quite a bit of ground here. They're going to elect to hold second from back. Trekkie at 85% Uber, so he's going to get it pretty soon here. I'm looking over here at uh, Basic, definitely has it. So they're going to funnel in. Dummy's going to get that Uber, and he's, they're at pretty good position here. A lot of flashing's going to have to go on from the experiment to keep everybody alive. 
Wonderwall is going to go down. Basic is electing to go behind the play. No, he's going to sneak and leapfrog back in. So a nice, cute little play by Basic. Not going to be enough. Tri is going to kill him. Uh, still, anyone's push here. There's four down, though. Uh, Experiment's probably not going to be able to make this happen. Seagull, the shoddy kill. The combo's actually behind Dummy right now. I think Dummy got Whoa, a pipe onto Siegel the medic. Seagull is into still... Shoddy and... Wait, fat cap? No, it's oh, not quite. That was crazy. I'm sorry. I thought Seagull was going to get shut down, but yeah, I think he had two or three behind the play. Um, weird positioning going on here. Um, the experiment did get forward. Spawn basic surfs away in Garage. That was really close to being a disaster for the experiment. Oplad's going to give his life so his medic can get away. Um, Seagull is still behind, back capping guys, as he's going to be able to kill a soldier here. And, oh, he's going to kill my Wow! The rocket uh, just barely popped him up enough to get away from the, the splash there. Crazy play. Finally able to clear up everything behind him, and now HRG, guys, has middle and looks to have a big advantage. So another back and forth round here. Yeah, this is crazy. And with uh, with Seagull down, they're going to have a pretty easy time getting into yard here. I'm uh, curious where Dummy set his trap, but it's not going to matter because Trekkie's just going to pop through anyways. And uh, HRG just looking for a few frags so they can secure too. But Seagull's back. Dummy's still up, so I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Experiment try to spam them off of this. Yeah, basic Although Dummy's gonna go down to Tech Dude, Tech Dude's gonna carry Tech on through to last. last. Wow. Hey, is that what? what oh, he's Tech just looking dude? for the scouts. Oh okay. my God. Tech Dude's going crazy at last. I thought he was gonna get shut down right away, but he wasn't. Um, Red does have Uber. Both teams are down to um, roaming soldiers are playing a, a big role in this round. Tech Dude just all over the place, and, and the scouts are, are getting shut down by soldiers. Blood Sire's not here, but I can feel him getting mad all the way from New York. So. Now, what we're sitting at right now, Basic has Uber. Trekkie actually does have Uber as well. I'm not sure if the experiment still believes they have an advantage or not. Looks like they're going to elect to hang out and chill. So all of a sudden, a possible return heartbreak round in store here for uh, for, a, for an experiment. Looks like they were going to win that one pretty easily, but they got shut all the way back down, and now they're holding last, guys. It looks like we have a heavy on attack and a heavy on defense, so... We're gonna see some minigun pellets flying around when this push eventually gets underway, and looks like that time is now. Here comes Trekkie with the pop. Uh, pop returned. Lots of huge damage onto Tri. Tri actually dies before he gets a second flash, and Tech Dude, that's the heavy, going down as well, so uh. HRG in full retreat. Experiment's gonna be looking to clean up these frags off their damage. Oplate taking a huge amount of damage, but he opens the door for his team, and that's uh, Sickness and Dummy getting some kills there. Now uh, Trekkie retreating. Looks like he's safe, but that's a, another failed last push for HRG. One thing I like to point out, um, when they pushed out that last there, they, they made sure every door, every every entrance to last was covered. They sent a man through everywhere, so no one was going to get behind for a back cap or to flank a medic. So uh, another failed push of last year by a team. This time HRG is going to put a little bit of a fail sauce up. That's all right. No, failing is okay. As uh, Now they're going to be repushing. Actually, there's a back cap on last, so a uh, second tech dude behind him. Look at who it is. He's going to try to fight two scouts. He says, I don't need a rocket launcher. I've got a stick, but uh, it's not going to do enough. Trekkie's going to go down as well. Wonderwall in that chaos, able to get a bomb on the medic. I didn't see that happen. Rick is going to try to make some happen. A lot of sticky damage going out. Basic has Uber, and that medic is down. So if Basic's able to not pop here, they might be able to take middle and use that Uber to push the other team's second. A uh, big swing around here. Wonderwall, I didn't see that pick, but another big play for him. It's interesting, because Tech Dude going for the back cap, we're just being behind them, forced HRG to push forward, which let... Trekkie be in such a bad position to actually die there. It's like, they want to support Tech Dude, but the fight's even. They have uber, uh, like, pretty much even uber percentages. But because Tech Dude's, like, a little out of position, they kind of have to support him, and it costs Trekkie his life and HRG any chance of holding mid. And if Experiment gets on their horses really fast here, they will be able to push. Try is still coming back from on spawn. They're going to go out here. They're going to run into some stickies, and that's not fun, but uh, not a debt in time. Rick did not see that the Kevin still has those on the back of that propane tank there, but that's pretty common. They're going to be able to spam those down with shot. Now Experiment really needs to push quickly as they cannot afford for Trekkie to get Uber. He's sitting at 70%. Dummy's going to go in. He's got a beat on the medic. He's popped up. No, he's going to get shut down with no flash. They're going to be able to cap second, but uh, Trekkie is definitely going to be alive there. Dummy's down. They're going to be able to hold this or not. HRG uh, Sigma, they're definitely going to look to repush this. In fact, Try is going to roll in here from that lower left. They're going to try to walk in. No red in sight. So not going to try to force a pop. They're going to try to go behind and maybe force a pop from behind. Tech Dude is going to go down, but uh, the times four on the point, they're going to get it. So 
Um, they lost both soldiers. Trekkie did pop Uber, so this is actually going to work out really, really well for the experiment. They can drop this scout, and they do dummy onto uh, a Nana Mouse. And oh, wow, Wonderwall with a double on a Trekkie and Rick at, I think, last. So Wonderwall is going to bash their brains in at last. It's really going to be hard for them to get out of this. Dummy's pushing last now with the help of Oplad onto the last point. There's a soldier here. Tech dude, can he possibly stop it? Well, he's going to drop Dummy. That Uber is still there, but they don't even need it. It's going to work. Finally going to pop at the end. So a little wag of the finger in their face saying, I don't even need to pop this Uber. And I believe it is four to two now in favor of the experiment, correct? Yes. All right, so it's starting to get a little one-sided here. That was a fun round, though. A lot of back and forth, so some good rounds here, some classic stuff. Gotta love the LAN environment, bringing out really high-quality TF2, even from the 4 and 3 seed here. So remember, guys, we still have uh, all sorts of matches coming up, including uh, uh, Mix-Up versus Quantic, the matchup that everybody's waiting for. So all right, here we go at middle, 4-2 in favor of the experiment. Let's see how this mid-fight rolls out. A lot of flying soldiers. Wonder Woman and Dummy rebombing on their own side. Um, a lot of three down for both sides. Basic is already down. Trekkie's still alive. Omar oh, the go saw. Down. Oh, saw with Drop the, the sword. Oh, wow, what a play. And the sword is out. He's in a slay sickness with the sword. My god. What is this mountain blade? Unbelievable. Oplan is still up. He's going to sneak in, try to drop the medic. The gaming legend. No, not going to get him. He actually didn't even do that much damage. I thought that was going to be an Oplan moment. One of those classic sneak out of the grass where he just pops up from the earth and steals your medic's life. So I didn't see the saw, but crazy work by Trekkie, making up for some of those positioning errors and another mid-win for HRG. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Tragedy Seabear, and something amazingly tragic happened on HRG's garage. Wonderwall and Seagull landed pretty much on Tech Dude. Tech Dude narrowly squeezed between them and got directly on top of Basic and then missed a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it happens, man. Rockets are hard, harder than you think. Yeah, I, I can know. hear Justin I... screaming from uh, New York right now. No, they're not. They're easy. If Let me anyone take a doubts, bite of my sandwich here, but if anyone doubts how hard rockets are, I'll just upload any of my paws this season, and you can learn. It's POV right there. He's not even going to abbreviate. That's going to go right through it. So Uber has popped on last. HRG trying to make it a quick one. As the Uber defensive Uber, I didn't even realize they had a defensive Uber there. I guess I they, they back just too. got it. He's like a so seven he life. Yeah, he has, wow, what a save there by the Red, but I don't know if it's going to be quite enough. Still a lot of pressure going down there. Dummy Oplag going to be able to clean this up. Still Rick and two scouts running around. Rick is actually all the way back at second, so he's going to throw stickies and try to stay alive. Oplad getting aggressive is going to try to make some play. A one-on-one -on -one scout fight on the right. Wow, a 2-3 shot onto Omar. Oplad playing really well so far at this, at this game, at least, as uh, there goes Experiment trying to retake this. So, guys, HRG is just not able to finish these rounds. They've had great chances seemingly in the last three. But uh, the experiment taking them back. Time has been added. Yeah, now here we are. Experiment super advantage. Uh, HRG still out in yard here. It's not a big uber advantage, so it's going to be tough if they just retreat to mid. But I'm going to be interested to see how this play goes down. Is is Seagull going to take the super in really aggressively, or are they just going to slow things down and try to wait for HRG to make another mistake? It looks like they're just going to sit back with it. Yeah, it's a tough, I mean, the, the HRG is able to got the full setup on that defense there. Sticky's out. It's tough to make that happen now. Uh, maybe not even aware of the uh, advantage. No, it's basically none. So they're going to yeah. hold back here, make sure they don't get anything behind. Uh, up 4-2, to two, so the onus is definitely on the blue side to make something happen here. And it looks like HRG is aware of that. They're going to be pushing in, trying to pressure uh, Basic, who is going to pop. Both Ubers are going to be popped. Both demo combos actually taking a full Uber here. Omar is going to go down, but uh, Oplet and, and Wonderwall on the side, but Tech Dude as well. So both flanks collapsing on each other. Soldier Scout trades. Sickness onto Anonymous, so Sickness is going to have free reign on the back here. It's already peppering away. A dummy under Rick, so a nice close of the distance. Demo on demo action there. A little black on black crime, not a problem. As so we're going to run onto middle here, so Sickness able to collapse the flank. Big play for uh, for Sickness, playing pretty well, um, getting his feet back on him. He's actually top fragging this round, so good for him. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Unfortunately, during that last push, I was watching the Uber exchange where they just stared at each other and nothing happened, but the flank was way more exciting there. <laughs> yeah, Try did uh, a play that's like really nice, it often goes understated. When they popped the Uber, Try knew he couldn't really do anything with the Uber fight. So he instantly jumps up top, goes into the garage, gets a free pick on the scout, and just forces like pressure to come to him, forces players to come to him. Really yeah. smart play by him. Uh, big push coming in here. They're able to drop that flank again. So Tech Dude's finding a lot of trouble other than a couple of those big plays in that first round. Um, early on, he's not having some trouble staying alive. Only at nine points. So significantly lower than anybody else in the game right now. Him and Wonderwall, both roaming soldiers. They're going big, but the points don't quite reflect that. Look at that positioning here. Experiment snuck all the way in, still with Uber. 
haven't popped yet, and they're just all over, forcing Blue to pop a second before them. Now they're actually going to sneak back out of upper, so a little creative trickery play by the Oh my god, Here comes he drops right into the uber combo at the end of his uber, so good movement from HRG, but it's like a super elaborate bait, because Seagull just drops the rockets down on them, and Siegel, this wow. might be the end of the match. Yeah, Seagull able to just completely destroy that. Um, Rick decided to try to uh, uh, stick up the, the exit, but he needed to be there to make sure Seagull didn't kill everyone, which is what he did. And now we're on last year, Wonderwall flying in, Scout trying to stop it.